Hi guys, thought I'd just uh, do a little quick video here on my uh, Oscar tank and the uh, hydroponic setup that I have uh, going. And uh, well, for a little background, I first started dabbling with the idea of hydroponics to remove some nitrates uh, using some uh, golden pothos about uh, a year, maybe two ago. And well, it didn't work too well because uh, my Oscar. He uh, kept uh, nipping at the roots and tearing them up. <laughs> so yeah, so I decided to uh, about a uh, last year sometime I decided to go for something a bit more robust and I uh, got uh, Monstera. <coughs> at first though it was just a little bit of a half-hearted effort because uh, I kind of just uh, put the pot over there behind the lamp and just stuck down a couple of the water roots and. Well, yeah, it sort of worked. The plant did well and all, but it wasn't growing very fast. And plus, I kept pulling it down to the floor and getting dirt, the soil everywhere. So the other day, after pulling it down to the floor for the uh, 27th or 2011th time, I kind of got a bit tired of it. So I uh, unrooted, unpotted the entire plant, and uh, I completely submerged the roots. And as it actually turned out, it was not just one Monstera, but two. Actually, I found this out about a couple of uh, months ago when uh, the one, the smaller plant here, was doing very poorly and the leaves were turning brown and all. And I just couldn't figure out why is only part of this plant sick while the rest are nice, green and healthy. But I mean, if there's two plants and the water roots, uh, there's only water roots for one of the plants, then of course, uh, since I wasn't watering at all, the poor thing was drying out. So yeah, I stuck down the roots here and I have uh, tethered my plants to the wall here using some uh, steel wire here. Actually, not steel, uh, aluminum wire to these hooks here, keeping it in place. You know, keeping it there and also preventing it from uh, falling into the water when I remove the cover glass. So as it grows, of course, I will be putting in more hooks to, uh, you know, keep it uh, towards the wall. And, well, might even put in hooks in the ceiling and let it eventually climb over there to the skylight over there. So, yeah, that's kind of... What I got cooking here at the moment, so we'll see how this uh, hydroponic setup uh, ultimately turns out. Thanks for watching.